Next on NBC5, arson or accident? Fire investigators want to know if someone is torching new homes. Next at 6. Now live, this is NBC5 at 6. This is not okay, and it can't continue. Two Frisco homes go up in flames, hundreds of thousands of dollars down the drain. Tonight, homeowners and construction crews are furious. Those two houses are right next door to one another on Viola Drive in this Frisco neighborhood right off El Dorado and 423. And this is a photo of one of them posted by a woman who lives nearby. Eric King is inside one of the homes with a look at the damage. Eric, is there any idea who is behind these fires? Well, at this point, it depends on who's doing the talking. The fire department hasn't released any information at all. Neighbors seem to believe that it's the work of neighborhood children. Let me kind of show you around. You've got a lot of the damage up here. The neighbors are saying that these kids are coming inside these homes because they're typically unlocked. In this case, they're saying they came in through this uh, garage here. Yeah, this home was sold Friday morning, and then it was caught fire Friday night. So the poor people are, you know, they're all excited about buying their brand new home, and it's almost finished, and we're trying to get it complete for them, and all of a sudden, we got to step back. Two homes, two fires, no concrete answers. Two weeks ago, this house went up in flames. The construction crew building it says it's a total loss. This one right next door, a bit luckier. Mike Gibson with Samir Home says it's repairable. He says fire investigators are telling him the fires were intentionally set. They have a very strong lead and they do think that it is a juvenile that lives in the neighborhood that is causing this. A juvenile was actually seen back in the house on Saturday. Mark Bloom with Network Realty says a recent housing boom in and around the Metroplex creates easy opportunities for those looking to cause trouble. People know that they have houses next to houses next to houses that are vacant. You don't have neighbors that are going to call, and that obviously presents a problem. We have seen um, teenagers who just take residence and leave things burning, like candles and things like that. The frustration and concerns are easy to find among neighbors. As a homeowner, you're looking forward to moving into your home and to know that, you know, that's delayed and you don't know why someone would just, you know, take a torch to your home. It's frustrating as well. Lots of frustration out here. So here's how this breaks down financially. Since this house was just sold on Friday and it went up in flames Friday evening, the builder tells me that the builder actually has to assume responsibility financially, so it's going to go to their insurance. Whomever buys this house next will have to be told that this was a fire damaged house, and that means this house will then go into a whole different financial purchase price bracket. We're live in Frisco, American King, NBC5. All right, Eric, thank you.